the LEGO Powered Up app has just been updated and now allows programming of both the Powered Up Hub and the LEGO Boost Hub. The initial impressions are really good. Connection seems a little more stable than with the Boost app, and you can also exit the app without losing connection. To get into the programming section, click on the white arrow in the, on the right hand side of the page. That will take you into the programming environment. Clicking on the cross will open a new project. The different blocks represent the different level of complexity of the programming environment. Once into the program, you will recognise it if you're a LEGO Boost user. It's virtually the same. To be able to connect to the hub, click on the brick in the top left hand corner. It will now connect to Boost hubs as well. Just click on the hub you want to connect to. To disconnect, click on the little cross. The other feature I found is you can also rename your hub. To rename your hub, just click on the name and a keyboard will pop up so you can rename it. Compared to Boost, there are currently a few omissions. The customised block, which is available in Boost, doesn't seem to yet be available in the Powered Up. But apart from that, most of the other functionality seems to be there. There is a difference between the motors that come with the Powered Up sets and the Boost sets. The Powered Up motors are simpler motors. They're not servo motors as with the Boost. This means that there are only limited blocks in the available in the programming environment to program the Powered Up motors. The top blocks here will program any of the motors. The bottom blocks will only control the servo motors like the ones that are inbuilt into Boost and the additional one that comes with Boost. You can see how it works with this motor test. The colour, distance, light intensity sensor seems to work really well with the powered up hub. On these tests it detected every, everything that you put in front of it. I also couldn't get both motors to work together for some reason, when touch the Boost Hub and the Powered Up Hub, they wouldn't run at the same time. Overall, this is a fantastic improvement to the Powered Up range. The fact you can now control Boost using this app seems really nice. It seems a bit more stable than the Boost app. Time will tell trying it. I'd like to try it on a more low-powered tablet as well, something like the Amazon Kindle Fire 7. That struggles to run the Boost app and crashes, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any improvements running it with this. Um, I'll try that and get back to you. Hope this has been a useful video. Thanks for watching.